So as we look back at 2020, we were physically separated, digitally connected, and as we move into 2021 and we see a little bit more mobility, it's interesting to note that the same online concept of coalescing in hubs, of forming our social network online, our professional network online, we're also seen physically and geographically that there has been a movement in the population out of the major capital cities. And in Australia, we see two interesting examples. The population of Sydney declined about 3% in 2020. The population of Melbourne declined about 5%. If we go across the Tasman to New Zealand, we can see similar declines in the population of Auckland, the financial capital, and Wellington, the political capital. And what we're seeing is that people are moving into these scenic, semi-rural areas that are about a two to three hour commute into the city centre. And I term this hubbubs. So if I was living in the scenic Hunter Valley in the middle of a winery, each weekend I would be going to a farmer's market and buying fresh, organic, bespoke vegetables, artisanal cheeses, properly baked sourdough bread. And for the rest of my groceries, the more generic basket, I would have that delivered by a large retailer. So we can start to see that there is a demand for the bespoke, which is emerging. And that demand for the bespoke is being characterized by more face-to-face -face commerce because obviously if you were going to buy an artisanal cheese or you wanted the perfectly shaped sourdough loaf, uh, you would inspect that in person or you would, you would try it. Now that we have this concept of hubbubs and people are looking to enrich their experiences by consuming different types of food or a higher quality, of food or local produce. What we're seeing is that they're supporting small businesses, often one person businesses or a small farm family. So what we're seeing is small businesses actually become a really important driver of the recovery. Across Asia, small businesses account for about 70% of GDP, about 75% of employment. So if we have consumers moving to where small businesses are, they're buying local, they're supporting small businesses, this becomes a really important tool in underpinning the recovery.